there, there may be spoilers, and um, this is a movie review of the first of the first film from 2005. And let me tell you, this film for me is a 10 out of 10. Period. I mean, this. Let me tell you, I I I love this movie so much. It is the it's the greatest graphic novel adaptation that I that exists in my personal opinion I mean it's what an extraordinary visually dazzling film this is um, I'm so glad it's rated R too <laughs> the opening sequence uh, with Josh Hartnett and that actress in the red dress it just it totally took me in I mean it's just Oh, I, I love that sequence because it establishes the, the feeling of this film, that film noir. Ah, oh, just, oh my goodness, I love this film. It captures um, Frank Miller's sing signature style so well. The only thing I, I don't like about this movie is the yellow bastard. You know, that, that yellow... That yellow bastard, I, I, for some reason, I did not like that character whatsoever. Then again, he was a rapist, and he was yellow, so maybe he wasn't meant to be liked. I, I, I love this movie so intensely. It reminds me of like weird dreams I've had. I love the, the dialogue, it's so strange and, and darkly humorous at the same time. Um, I love Bruce Willis's character. You know, him and his, his hard problems, and <laughs> I crack up every time that part comes up where uh, he's talking about his wife or something, and he's <laughs> he's like, I'm thinking about the big fat steak. If you've seen the movie, you know which part I'm talking about. Rosario Dawson, good lord, was she good looking in this film. Um, same thing with Jessica Alba, and they're both back in the sequel, can't wait to see them. Um, I think my favorite story or stories from this installment was, uh, you know, between Jessica Alba and Bruce Willis's character. For some reason, I love the I love the romance that Bruce Willis and and uh, Jessica Alba had in this film. I love the way that the film dealt with that. It was I don't know. I just I just really liked it. I don't know. And I really God that one car crash sequence. Like, whoa, when I first saw that, I was like, wow, it's just, just a wonderful visual film. Um, oh, man, it's like, there are literally snapshots in the graphic novel that happen in this film exactly how they were portrayed in the graphic novel. That's, that is so amazing to me, just astounding. Um, man, my, my main man Del, Del Toro has, like, one of the most absurd sequences ever. Um, what else? Uh, that, you know that one chick, that one Asian chick, uh, uh, Devin or Devon, I'm not sure how you say her name, but, um, this shot right here was like my screensaver for like a year and a half. <laughs> oh my god, that one chick, Carla? Man! Man, you already know what I'm thinking. Um... My favorite character in this film, for sure, was uh, Mickey Rourke as uh, as Marv. I love Marv. I thought he was just so darkly hysterical, hysterically funny. His character was such a badass, man. Like such a badass. Like like Mickey Rourke just totally became and embodied Marv. It was so dope. Um, I love his voice, you know, his voice is so dope, man, you know, him and his Goldie, man, I just, ah, oh, I, I just, I thought he was so awesome, I thought Clive Owen was dope as hell, too, um, he, he was also really cool in this film, and, um, I don't know, I, I love the action sequences, I think the soundtrack is really nice, it just, Sin City has such a timeless timeless feel to it uh, it's just like elegantly violent and absurd <laughs> 10 out of 10 beautiful timeless strange and 
so surreal. But what did you think of this film? 2005's Sin City. Let me know down below.